definitely banking on his queen taking the town hall here. No fear in the eyes of Kazuma here, but he drops in the blooms down south to pick up some arch towers. He'll start to freeze up the town hall and the inferno there. And now the moment of truth here, the queen does attack the wall. It all comes down to this, ladies and gentlemen. There are eight teams standing. There are four golden tickets to the Clash of Clans World Championship. They're going to be playing through a double elimination match here. And we're going to be diving into our first war right out of the gate. Queen Walkers versus Inquisition. Let's dive right in here as stars. We'll start us off here with a Skelly Bat Donut into Sui Hero Lalo. Holding on to a Log Launcher at the moment here but very likely going to be wanting to go after the cc and one of these infernos goes after the inferno that's more islanded off than the rest of them notice how the invisibility comes down to also catch the defensive road champion as best as possible she wanders into the invisibility and then she can't be targeted by the skeletons if she was able to get a strike off but all of those skeletons were perfectly covered there and that road champion got none of them all of the primary targets the skelly don't go down here and now he'll dive his heroes in coming in opposite of the town hall which means the lalo will need to go through the town hall need to get to either the defensive road champion or the defensive queen out of this depending on which way he ends up going here but the king will go in with a headhunter to go after the defensive king and into the eagle artillery the queen's gonna be breaking off to the right and moving down to the scattershot and the defensive road champion down the line there she's going to need some extra support there a golem comes in to provide the support here comes the log launcher the log launcher will run down the multi inferno while the golem provides the tanking and a giant and the road champion will continue to provide support in that area the queen she's not going into that compartment where the Scattershot is she's going down the channel to the middle of the base there She needs to reach over the wall and she needs to take the defensive world champion down But he has the headhunter there it arrives just in time to support the yetis the golems still provide tanking The world champion makes her way all the way forward gets the multi-inferno down and will continue on with the lalo Given some good protection all the way through that area the queen survives her ability intact She can use it to get the defensive queen off of the other side of the base there huge value out of the heroes here Nice start for stars and you have to remember that this attack was planned in eight minutes or less as he is the first attacker of the war so a lightning fast planning session here and it's off to a really really strong push through the base here he's still got a heal spell ice hound is surviving as he makes his way through the scatter shot looking good there the queen ends up surviving across to the bottom base there with a skeleton spell providing protection through the defensive grand warden he has a heal spell he doesn't need it stars is open up with the first triple for the queen walkers but we do expect some really really high scores here so this doesn't guarantee anything they still have to win twice in this upper bracket to secure one of the first golden tickets to the clash of clans world championship if they're able to get there they're joining the ranks of x team ms esports tribe gaming and strut esports in the world championship million dollar finals so looks like space station was able to open up with a triple tristella misses at 90 percent and gs gets a three star against blind esports michi gonna be coming in with a inferno dragon rider attacker using a bat spell to clear out the air defense by, by the town hall not able to get a full push into the town hall there with some tests popping on him but oh, oh okay okay where's your invisibility okay okay nice invisibility makes not only the Goblins invisible there, but also makes the storages invisible. So the goblins step forward and they will lock into the town hall. Oh my gosh! Stars baits him into the blimp and catches him red handed right there. That is going to be a massive pain to deal with here. He'll go ahead and so send in the info dragons, but that's going to cost him some freezes to be able to make his way through that area of the base there. But that was. That was heavily trapped up. That was heavily trapped up right there. And he fell right into that trap. So he's going to have the king and the queen move across the top side of the base and get the funnel form there while the Infer Dragons will step in and finish the last couple strikes on the town hall. That means they're going to be taking the blood. Okay, okay. Minimal damage done to the Infer Dragons. He can definitely recover from here. He's still in a really good spot there. I take back anything that I said that I... That would have said he's not doing well <laughs> he's, he's okay he's okay he'll go ahead and freeze up the middle of the base there and throw down a skeleton spell on to the entire middle of the base there and he, he'd like to get this inferno dragon to beat that inferno and it does it wins the race and is able to get the inferno down before the inferno takes it down now it's king and queen so move along the outside of the base there did this queen die is that is that 
Was that his queen right there? Or was that the defensive queen? I don't see his queen still alive, so the world champion's gonna have to pick up everything on the backside of the base there. And she's running into the defensive king. A headhunter arrives to assist her, but it's not gonna be enough to get her all the way to the base here, I don't think. He's still got one freeze. The king ends up going inside of the base there, luckily. But the world champion does ultimately die. Too much damage on her. Warden's still working on the inferno. And this uh, king, if it can, if can get to the scatter shot, maybe he's got a chance here. I don't know if he's got enough punch to get the scatter shot down. No, he's still got too many cannons on the backside. It's going to be defense, guys. So that means the Queen Walkers are going to be opening up with the lead. And I reinstate the initial uh, guess that is going to be a miss after the Town Hall didn't go down. So <laughs> that'll happen. That's what happens when you end up having to burn all those additional spells to make sure you get that Town Hall down. Like all the freezes that he had to put in the Town Hall could have been reallocated somewhere else and help these Inferno Dragons get through the last little bit extra that they needed to get here. Maybe protect the Queen. 91%. Pass it back to Queen Walkers. Kazuma is live with a Queen Charge into Lalo. Coming in with a Log Launcher. So if you're coming with a Log Launcher... Generally, there's two ways. This is not the way I was thinking. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to try to guess what he's going to do here because this is an odd angle of approach, but it does look like he's trying to funnel the queen to go to the right and go towards the scatter shot. If she goes into the scatter shot compartment, generally what we would say needs to happen is the queen would then need to transition across to the town hall. If she goes across to the town hall with the log launcher, then that would make sense, but then you just say need to get the king in to get the eagle artillery compartment down. That would make sense. That would make sense here. He sending a handful of balloons to go pick up this uh, wizard tower to help drive the queen to go into the scattershot compartment, and everything's looking fine there. Definitely needs to get this multi inferno down at some point. Using super barbarians to form out the funnel here. Here comes the log launcher. There goes the king. More super barbarians and sneaky goblins to go form out the funnel here for the king. And that'll drive him inside of the eagle artillery compartment as expected. Okay, now we're starting to see it come together here. Now get the defensive king down and the log launcher is working onto that inferno up ahead there. Getting the walls open and giving the queen access. The queen is the one who engaged the defensive world champion, not the log launcher. So he does end up falling a wall short of the town hall compartment or a log short. So if one more log got thrown, he'd be able to make it through. But the walls are so weakened up there that the queen very likely will still attack the wall and go into the single inferno, the expo and the town hall. So... He's still got his work cut out for him, but he's off to a good start here. The queen, a nice and healthy here, doesn't invest the rages, uses the invisibility instead as he goes through the defensive ward to preserve his queen ability. He wants to have those, he wants to have that queen ability and those freezes on standby when he reaches that town hall, because it can also not only protect the queen, but protect the Lalo as it comes in from the north side there. Definitely banking on his queen, taking the town hall here, no fear in the eyes of Kazuma here, but he drops in the balloons down south to pick up some arch towers. He'll start to freeze up the town hall and the inferno there. And now the moment of truth here, the queen does attack the wall into the town hall. She goes single inferno up ahead in her sights. He's got the world champion splitting off from the pack of balloons to pick up the multi inferno. This is absolutely perfect. Queen can power through another wall in one strike. And she actually ends up breaking out and goes out of the edge of the poison there. She stands in a little bit there, but it doesn't matter. It's a triple Kazuma getting another one in the board here for the queen walkers and they are now one step closer to the world championship of clash of clans they just need to hold through keep that offense on fire here as they have the lead they just have to maintain it inquisition live with alpha with a Sui Hero Lalo, he's got a clone as well. He'll start it with a couple of rocket balloons and try to get ready for a blimp, I think, to go to the town hall here. The, that was what burned him last time. These town hall compartments with all these storages stacked into them makes it difficult for sneaky goblins to make it through, but he'll send in the blimp right over the Teslas. Does not hit any black bombs this time, and he's able to secure the Yetis actually into the town hall there. Yetis and sneaky goblins inside of that blimp. And notice how the expo that was next to the town hall was touching the town hall. If he landed directly on top of the expo, then he knows that there were no traps right on the drop zone and it was safer to drop right there. And that makes me surprised that there were no black bombs in the path there. So he took a risk. It pays off. And now we'll see if they can get the triple. 
The CC was pulled by that as well, so we'll draw that off to the right-hand corner of the base and start to make his way in with the Queen. Is she going down the channel here? Maybe she's going to be trying to drive down the channel and go towards the multi-inferno in the middle of the base there. That'd be some really, really good value. But he needs to get the King and the Royal Champion to handle this bottom compartment. And we don't know where the Tesses are going to be. They're probably either going to be in the Queen compartment up top or the Royal Champion compartment down at the bottom. So if he's able to get into, if he's able to choose the compartment that doesn't have the Teslas, which we know that a lot of the Teslas were in the Town Hall compartment. So no matter what happens here, he's already got three of them under control. We see another one is popped over by the Arch Tower on the left side. So there's... Not going to be a problem with Tesla's, I don't think, here. Maybe Ground Skellies? Maybe Ground Skellies can stop the King here, but he does quickly get the defensive Royal Champion down. Doesn't wait on the Lalo. Charges through the Eagle Artillery. King pops his ability, and the King and the Lalo will give a lot of cross tanking for the Royal Champion as she makes her way forward. And if she doesn't, if the Queen doesn't get to the multi for the Royal Champion will. There's the Ward ability. As he dives through the defensive king, needs to get through the king to be able to get through over to the queen with his headhunters. And the headhunters will start to cross now, but the ward ability is not there to protect them. He freezes up the defensive queen and the ground expo. And the headhunters do arrive to the defensive queen. He, he clones. Does he clone any uh, headhunters there? Because he did not get the queen down. There's pups in the area there. The queen does go down to the pups. And Alpha is looking like he's going to get this one here. It's another triple. The first one on the board here for Inquisition, and they're still definitely in this war, only trailing a little bit on percentage, so swag that freeze there, King will wrap around, Queen is still alive as well, and there's plenty of balloons to get it done here. Inquisition, gonna put themselves, there's a couple of buildings behind Queen Walkers, and they're gonna have to bank on Queen Walkers getting a miss here. Jakku is live for the Queen Walkers, let's dive in and see what he's got. Gaku coming in with a Queen Charge into Hog Miner Hybrid. Going to the Town Hall compartment here to start it off. Gonna leave the Artillery for much later in the attack here, but we'll see what he can do with this Queen Charge. He's been doing a lot of Super Bowlers lately, and so to see him breaking out the Queen Charge into Hybrid, a little bit out of the ordinary from what he might be proficient with, so always a little bit of worry in the back of my head when I see people break away from their ordinary attacks. But he's going to be making his way in towards the town hall here. He's got a bomb tower in that compartment. He can get the CC from that compartment. But he's going to need to pull the CC basically right as the town hall goes down is when he'd like to pull it. So he puts in a hog now. That hog might end up pulling it. He either needs to get the CC engaged before the town hall activation and engagement or after it. But the hog is able to sweep all the way in there. Doesn't get a full pull there. Only covers a couple of archers and goblins out of there. So he's going to have to send in another one. But he doesn't have any pathing into the next... Another... He doesn't have pathing to get another hog in there right now. So he just needs to be patient. The queen's in a loop around to the inside here and circle back. He puts in a miner now. And then here comes the hog after the arch chart went down so we can target the builder hut there. And now that one will pull the rest of the CC and it'll get it pulled with super minions coming out of there. And Gage is the defensive world champion, goes invisible to get the queen through. And the headhunter ends up splitting off. He has the headhunter coming behind the queen now. He's able to turn back around and get the headhunter down and get the super minions under control as well. Okay, that works. That works. Uh, he has to make the town hall frozen though because he does have his healers inside of the range of it because of the pathing that he took there but the queen will handle it and she will minimize any damage to her healers there and make her way forward into the single inferno nice queen charge there so far queen's gonna have to go to her ability as she fights off the single inferno she could just actually target the single inferno that'd be really helpful loses the unicorn to the single inferno rages of the queen and she should be okay here i'll pop another freeze to make sure she does not go down and she can continue the back to the base there but he's still got this hybrid moving in on the top side of the base into the eagle artillery lots of miners still alive over there he's got the siege bricks hogs coming out of the top of the base now but his queen did ultimately go down so lots of investment into that queen charge that did not go through he still has a really solid chance of making it through though. There's a lot of hogs and miners and the Royal Champion King and Ward is still alive and pushing. Obviously, the Queen going down there is a big deal, but it might not be the end of the attack. He's got 30 seconds to make his way through. Lots of troops surviving, but the scatter shot is the biggest problem here. It's taking his troops down in droves. He's got to get his Royal Champion through. The single Inferno is at least weakened up, so if he can get over there to it, he can take it down with his Royal Champion, but she has to survive. He's got her getting targeted now. Grass Skelly's in the area. The warden goes down. 
He's not gonna make it in time. Okay, where's the percentage at? Where's the percentage? Does he get the percentage advantage? Looks like 93... 93% here is going to put the Queen Walkers into percentage advantage. So Inquisition will still need to triple to stay pace, but the Queen Walkers, if Inquisition wins this exchange, will be two buildings in the lead. GS Queen Walkers and Space Station will all guarantee their lead, as will Tristella. So everybody who just tripled and missed, in the case of the Queen Walkers, are still in the lead. Okay, here we go. Simon is live, coming in with a queen charge into Lalo. Klaus on defense here. We'll be diving in with this queen towards the scatter shot. Uh, far from the town hall, but if he can get the queen to just pick the scatter shot off and then move down the path here all the way to the town hall, then he should have clean access. Now, the difficulty here is this multi inferno. So, what I think he's going to be doing here is get the king to go in there, and there it is. The log launcher will run the inferno down so that the queen can round through that area safely and also just give some additional support there for the king. Down comes a headhunter to get the king through the defensive road champion. I would like to also see his road champion on offense there, but he's waiting until the defensive king goes down at a minimum there. A headhunter goes in and helps him get through the defensive king as well. Good value out of that. The log launcher runs the inferno down. The queen makes quick access into the town hall compartment, but the king is the one who pulled the defensive CC. But the headhunter's there wrecking him. I think the... Yeah, the headhunter's on, on defense will go right over to the queen and the... The Yetis that came out of the Log Launcher will just hold that Lava Hound. Uh, it'll just hold it for a little while there. It's going to eventually transfer over to the Queen. But it'll give the Queen time for her Town Hall takedown poison to fade, which will be really useful. She'll rage up again as she moves into the Arch Tower and Expo range there. A little bit higher damage in the area. The Eagle Artillery Strikes go with the Yetis, but he'll now start in a little bit of Lalo to help support the Queen. Let's clear out that bottom corner there and drive her towards the top of the base there. Now, she's got a super wall breaker, so if he times it right here and he can get the funnel set for the queen, he can drive her into that single inferno and get some really good value to her. But he puts the road champion with the Lalo to go in, and with the king already out of the way there, he has clean access to make his way over to the defensive queen with the headhunters and the road champion. You see the headhunters coming in now, and he can pop the word ability right now. Perfect timing to get through to the defensive queen. His queen down south is getting targeted by the single inferno. He does end up going to ability there. He doesn't use the wall breaker yet, but the healers have picked up the tanking on it. A couple balloons split off up north there to go in and get the multi inferno down. Were those balloons delayed to come in late on purpose like that, or did they just happen to end up like that? The queen has escaped the single inferno. She ran around it. RC will pop her ability. That'll get the multi inferno down. And with that multi inferno, or the single inferno, I mean, already weakened up, he can go ahead and swag the rest of his spells there and easily pick up this three star and stay pace with the queen walkers on this one. Nice job to Sun. Simon, but there's still two buildings behind. And they gotta win one of these last exchanges here against the Queen Walkers. Klaus is live for the Queen Walkers. Coming in with a skelly bat donut into Sui Hero Lalo. Very likely going after the CC and the Inferno here. Both these teams are very, very close to each other in the overall. He'll go ahead and drop in the invisibility and the rage in the same spot there. More invisibility is replaced as soon as that one wears off. And the skeleton and bat spell on the targets without any issues. And he'll cleanly get them both down. Nice initial setup here for Klaus. Now he needs to get in here, get the hero value. He already wall broke open the town hall compartment a little bit more. But he's going to be moving his king. King is deployed to potentially go... I don't know which way she's going. He's going to try to force the king in to go fight the defensive queen. I see what he's doing now. Queen cuts off his pathing just a little bit, so he goes in there and fights the defensive queen, and that queen will pull him into the compartment while the Royal Champion takes advantage of his tanking and is able to push her way through. The king gets cut off by the queen at perfect timing to get that storage down to force him into the right, and so the queen can continue on to the left by herself. No issues with that. That was a clean, clean entry. The timing on that was absolutely superb and planned as the queen perfectly cuts off the queen and it couldn't have been cleaner than that. This is a very, very nice initial setup here for Klaus. He'll get the scatter shot down, finds a couple Teslas on the right side of the base there, but his World Champion goes down now. One thing he needs to be mindful of is if he deploys his Warden on the right side of the base, the King is still standing. He might still be 
the warden off of the blues here so he would prefer to put the warden up at the top side of the base there and there he is he can then use the warden to protect the headhunters but they have to go through the defensive king to get to the royal champion he doesn't have a rage for those headhunters so we'll see if they still have enough punch to get the defensive uh, Road champion down, but he decided to freeze right there and he just overcompensated knowing that he had to go through the king and decided to just bring in additional headhunters and are able to not only get the defensive road champion down, but then quickly turns and helps assist getting the inferno down and then right into the clean up those headhunters go. I think he had five of them there. That was a lot of headhunters, but that was absolutely genius and is exactly what this base needed. Now he can surge his way through the haste there. Lots of traps are going off. Not going to stop Klaus. Klaus has the triple and the queen walkers are maintaining the lead here they need to maintain it for one more attack and then they'd be one war away from the world championship of clash of clans any updates on scores here we see gs opened up they got another triple there they're in perfect war territory against blind esports and all they gotta do is secure a two-star best on the last attack there it looks like tristella after Marshall's kiss ended up with a 98% miss, ends up with a 96% miss. So it still is going to be a percentage advantage by three buildings for Tristella if Marshall's kiss is able to triple. But Marshall's kiss absolutely must triple if they want to stay in this competition and stay in the upper bracket. There we go, Space Station finally shows a little bit of weakness there. The first miss they've had in a very long time. Bernal with an 89%. Stefan is live for Inquisition for the fourth attack here. And they stay paced with the Queen Walkers. They must triple this attack here. They don't really have much choice. They'll go in with a Flame Flinger to work with the Queen. The Flame Flinger will go after the Mortar while the Queen was tanking the Mortar. That's going to stay off to the left side there. And maybe it can get the path in to go in here and get this Inferno down. If it goes all the way to the Inferno, the Queen ends up going off to the right with the Flame Flinger actually actively funneling the Queen while she fights off the defensive Royal Champion. And the jump can carry her across. I definitely like this approach here. This is clever. This is very clever. He's got Dragon Riders for the other half of the deck there. And Dragon Riders don't need a lot of spell support. So that gives him a ton of resources that he can use for this Queen. There's the CC pull. Flame Flinger will continue working while the Queen fights out the Lava Hound. Giving it more time to work its way into the Multi Inferno. And then I expect a Dragon Rider and a Rocket Bloom to pop out of that Flame Flinger here to basically surge in and clear the traps in front of the dragon rider and then assist with more dragon riders going in through the eagle artillery we'll see what he decides to do there but look at the jump placement here i don't know if i agree with this jump placement i feel like it should not have opened up those internal compartments i feel like it should have given him access to the town hall and nothing else so here comes the dragon riders as the flame player gets a last his last couple strikes they're quickly rushing the air defense and into the artillery it goes queen getting targeted with her healers by the multi but she does step over and take it so okay i uh oh come on queen come on queen get back into the town hall she's taking damage to her healers from the archer tower up there red bombs are going off as well but the queen handles the other multi inferno she needs to get her way back to the town hall double black bomb goes off on the queen's healers she's now getting targeted by the town hall onto her healers there and she's still holding on to her ability so she can make her way back into it now but she's going way off path here and going all the way down she lost all of her healers stefan is risking a one star now rage up the queen freeze the town hall and the queen does end up surviving wow what a risk on that one but she's able to pull through and he's still got a royal champion ability and a lot of dragon riders to sweep around the wreckage of that town hall and secure this triple a big risk but it pays off here and inquisition will stay within two buildings of the queen walkers here and this war is going to come down to the final set of attacks here queen walkers can close it out right now and move themselves onto the final round. The final round that if they win that, they move on to the World Championship of Clash of Clans. But Rapodid has the percentage advantage right now if they get a triple and Space Station gets a 99%. They'd be one building ahead. GS has basically already won. And Tristella is in a very strong spot, but not out of this against Marshall's Kiss. But Tristella can also win it on this attack here. Here we go. Three teams one triple away from continuing on to the final stage of the qualifiers 
to get a golden ticket to the Clash of Clans World Championship. Yuda is live with a queen charge into Dragon Riders here. He dives that blimp in to secure the left-hand side of the base here. The queen will get the healers and start to make her way across. She's going to end up at the channel for a moment here. We'll see if she bounces out of the channel and goes to the town hall compartment. He will probably wall break her into the town hall, I assume. He wall breaks in now. And he could actually, if he wanted to, wall break into the middle of the base there and go there instead. But the queen stays to the outside just a little bit there. She goes through the wall break instead of going inside to the battle builders. Looking good here. Queen's going to make her way across and secure the town hall in just a moment. And there's a single inferno with a CC up ahead there, but she gets a CC pull. Rage up and rocket blue strike the queen. Able to handle him though. Poison up the super minions. No other damage was on the queen at the time. And she got quick access into those rocket balloons and was able to secure the CC takedown. There goes the town hall. Looking good here for Yuta. If he triples this, then they will advance to the final qualifier stage. Queen still doing good down south, but getting targeted by the single inferno. Dragon Riders in the north. The queen ends up turning to the north a little bit there and locks out of the single inferno before she goes over to the right at the bottom there so good pathing for the queen there secures the single inferno and the queen is home free from there she will need no more resources to stay alive to the end of the attack here so it can now start to put everything else he has into the dragon riders moving across the top of the base there rc ability clears everything on the outside forcing all of the dragon riders into the last couple of defenses the king is on the inside of the base there somehow. I don't know how he got in there, but his yak is breaking through walls like crazy. He'll freeze up the last approach into the scatter shot. He's, he's right there, guys. All he has to do is clear this corner, and the queen walkers have got it. It's a triple. He's got it. Yuna with the three star. 14 stars on the board here for the queen walkers, and they will take down Inquisition. Now all they have to do is win one more time in their next two wars one of the two wars in these next rounds will send them to the world championship of clash of clans so congratulations to yuda that is a huge pickup right there gs with a perfect war locks in their win tristella able to triple marshall's kiss is knocked down to the lower bracket so our next matchup so far is going to oh there we go there it is space station is able to get their triple against Rapata Gaming. So the teams that are advancing are the Queen Walkers and Space Station Gaming will fight each other for the golden ticket. And then GS and Tristella will fight each other for the other golden ticket. And then all of the teams that take losses will have to fight it out in the lower bracket. And whoever ends up crawling out of there, there's two more golden tickets waiting for the semifinals for that as well.